Hello everybody, welcome to the Boxing Locker. I am Matt Goddard and today we're going to talk about what sitting down on your punches actually means. Um, this was a question or a request, a video request from somebody on YouTube, so hopefully they see this. Um, I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't catch the handle on there, but I'll try and find it and tag you uh, in the comments to check the video out. Um, anyway, so sitting down on your punches. What does sitting down on your punches mean? So when you think of that, um, you think of delivering shots with power. Um, throwing your punches with a little bit more aggression, um, standing there and, and exchanging potentially. But what sitting down on your punches really means is delivering them with more intent. Okay, so when I'm sitting down on my punches, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do damage with them. Um, I may have established a situation in the fight whereby I feel confident. I may have already hurt my opponent a couple of times, picked a couple of good counters, they may be wobbled. So then it's time for me to sit down on my punches and throw with a little bit more intent, okay? Now, how do we do that, okay? So this is the difficult part of the question because uh, to a lot of people, sitting down on your punches means just planting your feet. It just means plant your feet and throw everything from that position. But that isn't necessarily um, all there is to it, okay? Sitting down on your punches is about maximizing the power of those shots. It's about enabling yourself to land hard with every punch that you throw. Um, and it's about maintaining um, a level of defensive responsibility within that, okay? It's no good um, falling apart and getting wild, okay? When I'm sitting down on my shots, I don't want to fall apart as a boxer and look like just some random street brawler. I need to know what I'm doing and I need to be doing it with intent and with purpose, okay? So, to, to sit down on our punches, first and foremost, say, if I'm boxing up here, bouncing around, moving around all the time, then it's going to be difficult for me to sit down on my punches. If I'm, if I'm up on my tiptoes, walking around, I'm nice and relaxed, I'm using my footwork, again, we can't sit down on our punches here. Even if I'm in this position, I'm throwing my shots, it's hard for me to sit down on my punches. To sit down on your punches, you need to do three things. The first thing is get your he uh, heavier base, okay? So I get my heavier base. Now that means not necessarily that I plant my feet and I don't move them, it just means that I let my feet sit flatter to the ground. So I'm, I'm flatter to the ground, and now I'm able to generate more force from the ground upwards, okay? So my, power, my punches will carry more power as a byproduct of that. The second thing is maximize the rotational force in the punch. So when I'm throwing the shot, I'm not just throwing to here, to here, and to here. I'm throwing every shot with everything I've got. I'm getting my whole body into the punch, turning through the shots, and letting the hips and shoulders drive them punches into the target so that I'm landing with maximum power every time. I'm letting my whole body weight transfer into those shots. Everything from the ground up, driven into the shots, maximizing the rotation. And if you've seen my um, How to Punch Hard videos um, and, and various other videos that I've, uh, I've done on this subject, remember when we want to hurt people badly, accuracy is just as important as effort, okay? Now, so we're putting those, those, those um, rotational forces together to generate as much power as we can. And the final thing when you sit down on your shots is being a little bit more patient. Okay, now, seems counterintuitive, you know, you've got somebody hurt, people think, right, rush in, throw as many punches as you can. How often have you seen guys do exactly that and get caught, get hurt, get dropped? All of a sudden, the, um, the momentum of the fight shifts and you're out, out of, out of the, the leading role. All of a sudden, you've become the antagonist, not the protagonist. You're not in charge. You're not making the decisions. The opponent is they've given a, they've got themselves a little confidence boost and they're thinking, okay, I've got a chance here. This guy, this guy's easy to hurt. We don't want to be walking in 20 punches. So we sit down on our shots, we get a nice wide, low, heavy base, staying defensively responsible, we're not rushing. Everything that we're throwing is either to set up the big shot, what, what, or we're throwing our shots with maximum power. Boom, 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 boom everything we've got driving into those punches, okay? Another top tip when you sit down on your punches is try and move your head every one or two shots. So say I throw a big right hand, the left hook, I'm gonna roll under, roll under, right hand, left hook, roll under, left hook, left hook, roll, roll, roll. Head movement. Head movement is essential in between. Again, just to avoid getting clipped with those unnecessary shots. Even if your opponent doesn't come back with anything, Couple of big punches, roll. Couple of big punches, roll. Three or four big punches, roll, okay? 
the more frequently you move your head, the harder it's going to be for your opponent to land. Um, and remember, the referee in a boxing match is going to be coming over to them saying, if you don't throw, I'm going to stop it. If you don't throw, I'm going to stop it. They're getting in the way, they're getting ready. The boxer sees that and thinks, I need to throw a punch. And they'll give it everything they've got to hit you as hard as they can. So you've got to be prepared for those kind of things. So, to conclude, to summarise, what three things do we do to sit down on our punches? And how can I explain sitting down on your punches? Those three things are simple. The first one, wide, heavy base. So I get a wide, I get a heavy base. I let my weight sit down a little bit more into my legs so that I'm heavier on my feet. I don't want to be up, bouncing around. It's hard to be heavy in that position. It's hard to sit down on your shots. Please keep in mind, this doesn't mean you can't deliver punches with power. I can deliver punches with power up here. Bop, bop, bop. But you see a lot more flash knockdowns that come from that. A lot more quick knockdowns where people aren't necessarily um, completely knocked out. Or, or where people are discombobulated and their legs are all wobbly and floppy. Okay? You see a lot more knockdowns, a lot less completely sparked up, put to sleep knockouts. Okay, so sitting down on our punches, we get a wide, low base, knees nice and soft, and we, and we let our feet be heavy in the ground. The second thing is we deliver our punches with maximum rotational force. Okay, we're absolutely driving into every single shot, throwing every single shot. And the third thing is be patient, okay? Be patient, slow yourself down, throw every punch deliberately. Don't just go in there wild, throwing shots all over the place, loads of random angles. Yes, that can be effective, but it can also get you put to sleep, okay? We need to stay defensively responsible, and we need to make sure every punch we throw is thrown with intent, deliberately, and efficiently, so that we can do as much damage as possible with as, with as little risk. So, that's how I personally explain sitting down on your punches, and how I teach people to sit down on their punches, to throw with more intent, more comprehension, be more deliberate in their practice, and also to stay as responsible as possible. We don't want to be rushing in, we don't want to be making silly mistakes just because we get overexcited and overhyped up by the fact that we've got somebody hurt. So there we have it guys, uh, thank you to the person who requested this video, cool video for me to do. I'm glad to share some extra little tips with you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, there somewhere I think it would be, down there somewhere, don't forget to subscribe, and please, please do check out the rest of the videos on my feed, show as much support for the page as you can. Have a great day everybody, thank you for watching.